guys welcome back to my channel all right so today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to edit your instagram photos like a pro using just your iphone now if you have the iphone uh, i don't know about android but if you have the iphone you only need two apps to achieve your desired look okay and your instagram photos will be popping in 2020 First, you want to download Facetune, right? Facetune is one of the best apps out there for photo editing and making sure that your face, your skin, it pops and it basically brings out like, like every, you know, hidden feature you have in your photos. If your photo is rough, Facetune is going to help smoothen it out. If your eyes, if you just finished smoking weed and you took a photo, Facetune is going to make sure that your eyes are white as anything and you know you can also add you know curves and but you can do a lot of things with facetune you want to download facetune that's the first app you want to download for this and the next app is visco um i think i paid about a dollar and some change for visco i've had visco now for three years i've been using facetune and visco for three years now to edit my photos if you go on my instagram um, page my photos are popping I get a lot of likes, I get a lot of comments, and it's basically based on these two apps. Okay, I'm fine and all, I don't need these apps, but you know, they help a little bit to, you know, make your pictures pop more and stand out more. Basically, adds, you know, a little bit of light, or if um, you, took a, you took a photo in a dark room, or you took a photo when it was dark outside or something, and you want it to you know, shine a little bit you know, more, Viscor is the app for you. Um, you can saturate your skin, uh, make your skin blend more, and it just does a lot. I'm gonna be showing you guys what I'm talking about because it looks like I'm talking too much, and I know that you guys want to see some action. I'm gonna be showing you guys that action um, so I'm gonna be using the picture on my thumbnail how I got it to that point okay all right so the first thing I do is go to um, the most important thing is not all photos are editable you have to take a semi decent photo to make it pop you know what I'm saying you can't just take an ugly photo and just think you know a little touch here and there is gonna make it look nice now nah, you have to at least make sure that the photo is good enough for editing i'm telling you guys i know what i'm talking about i've been doing this thing for the longest and if a photo is ugly trust me there's no amount of editing you can do it's still gonna be ugly so just make sure that when you're taking a photo um you use like you use a phone like an iphone i know iphone has one of the best um, photo quality out there and video quality out there so you might want to get the iPhone or you know borrow an iPhone from somebody I don't know about Android I don't know the camera quality for Android but I can speak for iPhone um, so you want to do that first so what I do is I go on Facetune so I already have um, the photos in my favorites the photos I'm going to be using to edit in my favorites so I'm going to click on that you can see the imperfections of this photo right here. You see the face is not as smooth as I want it to be. My eyes look red shot because it was late at night and I was really sleepy and really tired when I took this photo. And my eyes are like red, like I just freaking finished smoking all the weed in California, right? <laughs> or Jamaica. <laughs> but my eyes look dead and you see my skin is not as smooth as I want it to be. And there are some things in the background I want to pop more. So Facetune is the app for you to use. All right, so I'm gonna start with smooth. That you can see right there, you see smooth. I'm gonna click on smooth, and I'm gonna zoom the photo so I'll be able to smooth the right places. Cause you don't want to go and be smooth. You know, you don't you don't want to smooth your hair. You don't want to smooth places that don't want to be smooth. You know what I'm saying? So just zoom in a little bit more so you get the places you want to smooth. Now I look at my face. Where do I want to start from? my forehead is looking a little bit you know not cool so i'm gonna smooth in that place i'm gonna be showing you the before and after um before and after photo so you guys can see as you can see it's smoothing right now i'm gonna smooth the forehead i'm gonna you know zoom in a little bit to my cheekbone smoothing that side too you don't want to do it too much so it doesn't look unrealistic you want to smoothen it to the point where when someone sees the photo they'll be like okay okay i need your skincare routine you know what i'm saying don't do it too much 
don't do it too much where it looks unrealistic so I'm gonna smooth in that side as you can see it's also smoother smoother I, I'm, not, I'm gonna click on smoother for you to see how smoother works smoother right here smoother like it gets every thing but smoother I don't know if I want to use smoother cuz smoother can be unrealistic sometimes like nobody's face is that smooth let's be real right so I'm not gonna use smoother cuz I don't want mm -mm. I'm just gonna go back to smooth cuz I wanted to have that realistic you know natural touch and natural look so I'm gonna take off smoother I'm gonna still go back to my smooth um uh, the drawline, I'm just going to smooth that area as well. Just keep smoothing. You just keep touching it until you feel like it's smooth enough for you. If it's not smooth enough for you, you can go back and, you know, trust me, you can do it a thousand times. The neck, you can have your face smooth without your neck looking the exact same way. So you want to smooth your neck as well so that it matches with your face. Now, as you can see, I've smoothed, I've, I've done the face, now your arms, your face will be looking completely different from your arms, so I'm going to be smoothing my arms as well, as you can see, see how it kind of looks as, it kind of looks like my face, I'm not going to miss my little thigh right here, you want to catch everything, because trust me, people looking at your photos will catch every imperfection, so you want to make sure that everything looks real as possible, I'm going to make sure I catch my nose, in between my eyes all right so we can say this is a little bit okay right for the smoothing department you want to whiten the eyes I want to make the eyes white and bright right because it looks red and it looks like I just finished you know, getting high so I'm gonna click the top right the check mark in the top right corner right there so it shows me the other options that I have and I'm going to click on whiten right there, zoom to the eyes, right there. You want to just catch the white side. Don't go on white to your eyeballs. You want to catch the white side of your eyes. Because trust me, I didn't, I didn't get high or anything. See, you see, you can see the clear difference between both eyes, right? Okay, so I'm going to do the exact same thing I did on the second eye right like so okay now now if you think this is white enough for you you can let it be like this if you feel like you want it to be a little bit more white and you know bright just click the check mark at the right top corner um click on whiten again and zoom it again and just double coat it <laughs> double coat it do it again again all right so now if you look at this photo you think this photo is perfect enough right but now nah, it still needs a few things right now look at the background when you're done with that just click on the right um check mark right there look at the background i feel like there are things that need to pop in the background you know now click on details Details make things pop. I'm going to show you guys what I mean. Click on details. I'm going to zoom into my nose where the highlighter is and I'm going to click on, do that. See how it's a little bit, you know, more detailed. But I'm going to erase that because I don't want my nose to be shining that bright. <laughs> I'm going to erase that. just wanted to show you guys. Now I'm going to detail a few things in my background like the money. You see how the money is like shining? And the flowers in the background, you see how they're like popping? Do that. And I think this photo is good enough, at least for now. You don't want to do a lot so it doesn't look crazy and over edited. So I'm going to save it to my camera roll because we're about to, you know, jump onto the next bandwagon, which is Visco. Now let's go to Visco. I already saved the photo though I just edited in my photo album so I'm going to put it in my visco so I can edit it now the contrast I kind of like the contrast watch what contrast does it kind of blends the colors in together you know what I'm saying I don't really know how to explain the contrast but it just blends the colors together and you know it makes your photo not look 
fake. So I just use maybe 1.1 in contrast and I click the check mark down there. I go to sharpen. I just do a little bit, not too much, just a, just a little bit of sharpen or sharpen. And then for clarity, just make the, you know, the photo, you know, clear and like really, really sparkle. I'm going to use just a little bit, not too much of that. And I'm going to use, I'm going to go to saturation. I love that saturation. It adds color um, to your skin. It adds color to your photos. That is, that's why I like saturation. Just a little bit of saturation because I feel like I already have enough color in this photo. So I don't want to do too much. Just a little bit of saturation right there. All right, so um, the skin tone just makes the skin tone, you know, pop and, you know, glow, you know? And I'm just going to use just a little bit of skin tone, not too much, maybe 1.0. That's perfect for me. Now, I'm going to save this photo because I feel like, I like how this photo is. I don't want to do too much again. I don't want to do any more, any other thing for the, this photo. Now, I'm going to show you guys the photo. You see how this photo looks? I know you guys are seeing it. It completely looks different. It completely looks different from photo, guys. So this is the original. This is the original photo right here, and this is the edited photo right here. It completely looks different. You can see the clear difference. The skin is clearer. Um, the face is smoother. The eyes are looking whiter, and I completely love it. So um. I'm not going to do a lot of photos for you guys, but I'm just going to do one more to show you how you can add curves to your photos. Now, me personally, I don't use these curves or nothing because, you know, I, you know, you know, it's your prerogative. If you want to add curves to your looks, I know a lot of celebrities do it. A lot of celebrities do it. A lot of celebrities add fake curves and um, whatever. But I'm going to show you guys how to add curves to your photos without surgery. Now, this is a bonus right here. Alright, so go on Facetune. Everything is basically on Facetune, guys. Go on Facetune. Click on the um, uh, different photo. A photo that basically shows your figure is something that if you add, you know, curve, it's going to make sense. Um, now, go to reshape. Click on reshape. First of all, you want to zoom your photo in. Because if you don't zoom it in and you click on reshape, you're going to see some, like, messed up stuff. So, click on reshape. Click on reshape and click on resize. Now, the first thing when it comes to giving yourself curve, you have to make sure that your tummy is a little bit small so it makes sense because you don't want to have, um, you don't want your body to not be proportionate. You know what I'm saying? Make your tummy small and then add the hips. Now, I'm going to click on resize, make the tummy small. You see that? Make the tummy small. So, when I'm adding the hips, it's kind of like it's proportionate so I'm gonna add just a little bit of hips just you know touch it inwards like you're trying to bring it out the other side too see that don't forget the thighs cuz your hips and your thighs are together so you want to make sure that that hips if it's, you know, it's coming together and the thighs, you know, is expanding. If the hips is expanding, the thighs are expanding too. It's the same thing. So, do that. And as you're doing it, make sure that you're, you're making the tummy a little bit small. You know what I'm saying? Make sure the tummy is small. And now, you don't want to add too much fake hips because people that know you in real life know that you ain't got that much hips. <laughs> so, you want to make it as realistic as possible so make your tummy small all right so i think this is good enough for me because i don't want to do too much with this photo because if you do too much with this photo it's fake it kind of already looks a little bit fake but what you can do is just expand your tummy a little bit more expand your tummy a little bit more because um, I wouldn't say nobody's tummy look like this, you know. Now look at the photo. It is completely different than the original photo. Now I'm going to save this photo and show you guys the original photo. This is the edited photo right here. And this is the original photo right here. 
So you see the clear difference between both photos. And you can do this using face tune, guys. I just wanted to show you guys how I edit my photos using them to apps. Now, the last one with the cursor, now I don't use that one really, I really don't. I really don't, but it's for someone out there that wants to add a little bit of hips, a little bit of, you know, bump on the side. If you want to use that one, get face tune and do that yourself, girl. You can do it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I helped someone out there. If you're someone that is standing off on Instagram and you want to make your photos pop, you need the two apps, Facetune and Visco. Download Facetune and Visco. I'm pretty sure you, you pay um, a dollar and some change for Visco for like a year or something. It's worth every penny. And Facetune too. I think Facetune you pay a dollar. So I don't know if it's free. I can't remember because I've been using Facetune now for three years and I can't really remember if I spent money on it or if I got it for free. But just try it out, guys. It is very good and it is worth every penny you spent on it. If you want to make your Instagram photos pop, trust me, this is where you have to go. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope I helped someone out there and I hope I helped you guys out there. Thank you so, so, so much. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thumbs this video up. Let me know what you guys think about this whole video in the comment section below. Share it with your friends and your families. And I'm going to be seeing you guys next video.